incredible videos that shows intelligently controlled craft moving in our upper atmosphere was taken by NASA's own cameras. This is STS-114, taken in August 2005 from a routine shuttle mission. Looking down at the Earth, we have a night view. The camera on the space shuttle, the astronauts tucked into their space beds sleeping perhaps, while the ever-present camera peers into the murkiness of space. All of a sudden, this light appears out of nowhere and moves in a straight line towards the edge of the Earth, towards the limb of the Earth. Now, as it approaches the edge there, it seems to slow down. But I think what's really going on, it's just moving away from the camera. And it's getting further and further away. And just as it goes out of sight, this massive luminous object comes flying from the other direction. We're talking about a diameter of miles to be throwing off that much light. It slows down and comes to a complete stop. And just as it comes to a stop, another object appears and moves off in yet another direction. And then something truly amazing happens. That huge luminous object starts going backwards. It retraces its steps. Again, something that could only be a sign of intelligent control. The evidence contained in this video should be the subject of a major international press conference. But instead, what does NASA do? They turn their cameras away. The most extraordinary discovery, history of humanity, they want to keep secret. So what are these beings? Where do they come from? 1400 years old scripture, the Quran, sheds light to these beings. They are known as jinn. According to the scripture, they are made of smokeless fire. The closest thing we can think of as energy beings. Therefore, they are more susceptible to radiation or electromagnetic waves, unlike human beings. If they are quarantined like the Quran says, they need human help to break out the protective energy grid that is surrounding the Earth, whether it is the Van Halen belt or something more closer to Earth. Maybe, all the so-called abductions and experiments are an attempt to modify their genetic structure to make them more radiation hardened. Maybe, that is the only way to escape the quarantine grid that is holding them prisoner on this Earth. Genes could fly, see, and genes could go to, through, through many of the heavens, they could go up, up and down. They didn't have to stay on the Earth. They didn't have to stay on the Earth. They could travel up. It was only when Rasulullah came that they, were, that they were trapped within this first universe. This is clear from the Quran. This is in Surah Safat, you will find this. In Surah Jinn, you will find this. That Allah did not allow them to go beyond the first heaven, or the first heaven, meaning the end of this universe. They can't go past that after, the, after Rasulullah became a prophet. But before that, they could go above that. And the jinn race we have created before, before Adam. And they lived on earth for 2,000 years. The jinn in these 2,000 years, the jinn are not the smartest. Allah gave the jinn a lot of strength. And Allah gave them a lot of powers. And they could do many things. And the jinn were living on this earth before Adam salam. And there were nations and there were tribes. And they were living and they were getting married and there was descendants and so forth. But they were so corrupt on earth. They caused so much corruption. They killed each other, deceived each other, cheated on each other, took uh, took the rights from each other. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an army of the angels to fight them. This army of the angels fought them and pushed them out of the land and made them live on the islands of the sea. However, before departing our solar system, the enemies of the Anunnaki cautiously placed an energy grid around the Earth to keep them quarantined here forever. And we have sought to reach the heaven, but found it filled with powerful guards and burning flames. And we used to sit therein in positions for hearing, but whoever listens now will find a burning flame lying in wait for him. Perhaps this grid even extends out into the stars and the world grid of the Earth connects with the grid of other planets as well and then integrates the Earth into a huge colony, if you will, or integrated circuit throughout the cosmos. We don't know for sure where the protective grid really is, near the Earth or near the border of a known universe to quarantine the gym. Allah, our Lord of all mankind, knows best.